everybody, Shay from Normanus Right. Today I'm going to talk about humidification, why it's important, how it affects indoor air quality, and how it protects materials and people. So let's get started. When people think about HVAC, we often focus on temperature and airflow, but humidity control is just as important. So let's look at why you need humidity control. Well, the first reason is for improving indoor air quality, IAQ. If a building's air is too dry, it can lead to increased airborne viruses and bacteria. Dry air allows particles to stay suspended longer, making it easier to spread colds and flu. It can also cause respiratory irritation. Low humidity can dry out nasal passages and lungs, leading to coughing and discomfort. You make a little bit of room. There will also be more dust in the air. Proper humidity helps dust settle faster, making air filtration more effective. Let's move this over. And humidity is not just important to people. Humidity also affects manufacturing processes. In many industries, humidity control is critical for quality and efficiency. Most people know that electronics can be damaged by static electricity, so controlling the humidity prevents static electricity buildup. Humidity control is important in labs as well. You want to keep static electricity away from flammable chemicals, and it's important in preserving materials. Let's make some room here. Museums and libraries rely on humidity control to protect valuable materials like artifacts and books. Humidity prevents drying, cracking, and degradation of sensitive documents and objects. Even concert halls and opera houses need humidity control, not just to maintain the structural integrity of wooden elements like floors, walls, and ceilings, but also to preserve wooden instruments. If the air becomes too dry, then it can draw moisture from the wood instrument, causing dimensional changes that can affect the sound coming from the instrument. Having the appropriate humidity levels are important for the building occupants' health and comfort. Let's make some more room here. This chart from dry steam comes from an ASHRAE study in 1985. A decrease in the size of the bar by the air quality factor indicates a decrease in the negative IAQ factor in occupant complaints. 40 to 60% is shown as an optimum range for most things, but it varies based on the factor. Let's bring this all back on screen. So every building is different, but you probably need a humidity control in your building. So if you need help selecting a humidification solution for your space, as always, you can contact your Norman Wright salesperson. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.